What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. How y'all doing today? We're just here at camp. I just woke up and uh, it's actually getting pretty hot. Um, it's already 72 and we're just sitting around today waiting for the eclipse. I have a few things I have to get ready, uh, like a lens protector and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, pretty excited about today. Today is all about trying to get the best footage of the eclipse as I can. So let's uh, see what we can get up to today. I think there's a lot of waiting in between though. So you know, maybe I'll cook some food later. Maybe I'll check the campground out here. Maybe put the drone up, we'll see. All right guys, it's really hot. I just went to the bathroom. It was a long walk through the field. All right, so anyway, we got out of the heat and I've started making a little uh, lens cover here. This is special uh, film that you can um, put over your lens to so you can actually take photos safely of the eclipse however if if i wanted a proper like solar lens they're like 750 dollars. so this is a budget way 25 dollars and some tape cut it to shape as you can see put it over the lens that's hopefully gonna work we'll see hopefully it doesn't get windy otherwise i may have a problem but i think it should work let's hope so we got some of that film wrapped over my um, GoPro here. Hopefully I can get something with that. I might do a time lapse with that. Now let's look at what else we're gonna do. We're gonna put, uh, actually gonna put some of these, one of these glass lenses over the phone so I can try pick something up with that. Now let's look at everyone else's setup. Now this is my camera here. Uh, it's not my lens. This is Anthony's 250 mil lens. Uh, so I can get somewhat of a focus or somewhat of a picture of the sun. My stock 55 just does not get it. And if we boot this up real quick. It's hard to see with the glare, but you can see the sun right there. It's not super huge, but it's definitely good enough for me. Um, then Anthony, Look at this gigantic lens that Anthony's got going on here. Uh, he can zoom right into the surface of the sun with this thing. It's crazy. And he's done a similar setup with me. I think his little lens looks a little bit better than mine. Uh, much more flatter, straighter. Pretty cool. I like how he's put the duct tape roll on there. It makes it more uh, solid and stable. <laughs> I did put mine on, but mine's really loose. It doesn't sort of sit as tight on there but it's gonna do the job, so. Then, let's see what Mr. Charles has got. I gotta charge my phone. He's got a fancy looking tripod for a start, very nice. And, and then I've got- He's got his here. secret weapon. He's gonna be doing it all on his phone with this little setup here. We'll take a peek at it. Very cool. So right now I'm just charging my GoPro batteries. I'm gonna take my I think I might take my, I oh, know my camera's not getting too hot, that's fine. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna just charge up my GoPro batteries, wait for it. I'm gonna set up another tripod for my GoPro and let the uh, fun begin. So we were just standing here talking in the middle of camp. They did say strange things were gonna happen. Literally a giant swarm of bees just went flying through the middle of our camp. Like they said, the insects bad. and weird, I don't want to make you feel the insects bad, and stuff were gonna uh, do <laughs> weird stuff. So yeah, that's our first weird encounter of the eclipse day. Sucks. Let's see what else happens today. But yeah, that was super weird, guys. Like there's a giant swarm. I thought it was a drone over the top of us. So it's begun. We're at around 12:15, and they have started. It started encroaching. Let's see if I can put the. Uh, uh, phone lens on the uh, camera uh, on the glasses and see if I can get anything. Can't really see it very well with my camera or my phone, it can't really zoom in on it very well. But 
Uh, I'll have some photos to show you guys and see if the GoPro picks anything up. Hey, Sonny, how you doing over there? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. It's hard to see with the glare, but you've got a little shot here. Let's go in for another. Not too bad, this shabby little uh, lens filter I made up is actually doing not a too bad of a job. Okay, one thing I will say is already definitely feeling the wind pick up just from the, um, the solar eclipse. Uh, they did say that the wind would pick up and weather would change and animals would act funny. So yeah, pretty crazy. Definitely already feeling a change already. Let's see how Mr. Charles is doing. How you doing there, Charles? Good. Getting some good shots. I don't know, we'll see. I'm battling with my camera. It's not wanting to stay still while I take shots, but it's fine. Whatever. It's only once in a lifetime thing. Man. Uh huh. I think I'll get some good shots out of it. All right, let's get back to my camera. I want to get as many good shots as I can of this. So yeah, this next hour, I'm going to be concentrating pretty hard. So he's got a solar eclipse playlist going on my sound box here. Uh, yeah, Tony just pointed out the uh, colors on the ground are looking all different and stuff. The like shade and tone overall of the sun is very different right now. I definitely notice it. Looks very strange out here. You might not see it on the camera, but I'm definitely noticing a different tone on the ground now. But yeah. We'll see. It's only not even a quarter covered yet, so see how it progresses, guys. Looking pretty cool up there, guys. I think we're past the halfway point now. Very, very cool. Hard to tell because the camera has autofocus and lighting and all that, but it's actually looking really hazy and kind of shadowy out here. We're past the uh, three quarter mark on now, so pretty crazy. We got like 20 minutes till totality, guys. Pretty exciting, guys, pretty exciting. And uh, hopefully I'm getting some great shots here. I got the camera set up. I have to keep readjusting it because I'm zoomed in on the moon, uh, sun. And uh, yeah, I have to keep readjusting as the sun moves across the sky. Bit of a pain, I don't have a tracker or anything like that. We're doing a low budget here with what I got. Right, so check this out, guys. Look how short my shadow is because of the eclipse. Should be like way out here or something. But because of the eclipse, our shadows are all short and weird like. It's totally tripping us out right now. Kind of crazy guys <laughs> dude this is creepy oh my lord dude okay it is like really dark i know my camera is like hamming it up my camera is like adjusting the light to try brighten it but it is like crazy dark it's like 1 30 and it, it looks like it's about to get dark or something it's insane guys No joke, it is dark out here, guys. That's so freaky. It's crazy. Dude, it is crazy. It is so dark out here, guys. We have two minutes till total eclipse. Two minutes. And, like, it's weird, guys. It's so weird. It's getting crazy dark here, guys. My shadow's acting all weird. 90 seconds. Observe for shadow bands. Shadow bands. I don't know what that is. But, dude, it is so dark out here. Oh, my Lord. Okay, let's get this camera going. 
Oh, there's like nothing left in there. That's all that's left of the sun right now. Observe for shadow bands. Oh, my camera's having trouble adjusting. Crazy. 40 seconds. It is so dark right now. 15. <gasps> no way. 10. Oh God. Take, Five, take the lens off. Bro, that is the photo, bro. Oh my god, yours is so freaking cool. Yours is way better than mine. It's so dark out here right now. Oh, dude. I know I just knocked my camera out. Oh my god. So cool guys, check it out. Check it out guys. It's so dark out here, my phone can't do it justice, but you'll have to see the photos. But yeah, dude, the phone... We're totally dark out here. The phone does not do it justice at all, dude. I'm gonna try to capture some. Oh my lord, this is so cool. This is so worth the trip, guys. Oh my lord, this is so cool. This is so worth the trip, guys. 100% worth the trip, guys. My, I can't, my phone can't even pick me up, it's all pixelated. It's so dark out here. It's way darker than it looks on uh, the phone right now. It's so dark out here, guys. It's like nighttime. The air's gone all weird. It's crazy. Look at that. That's what it looks like right now. Oh my god, here we go, it's getting sunny again. This is crazy guys, crazy. Oh my god. One out? <laughs> I'll be back. Hundred percent worth the trip, guys. My I can't my phone can't even pick me up. It's all pixelated. It's so dark out here. It's way darker than it looks on uh, the phone right now. So dark out here, guys. It's like nighttime. The air's gone all weird. It's crazy. Look at that. That's what it looks like right now. Glasses on. Glasses on. Get those filters back on. Let me see if I can get this without turning it. Oh my god. Here we go. It's getting sunny again. 
This is crazy, guys. Crazy. Whoa, guys. Whoa. <laughs> that was so amazing. I'm so glad I drove out for this. Now we still have the sun coming out from the other side, but it's brightening back up again. But oh my lord. This is so cool, guys. So cool. Yeah, so I was walking to the bathroom just before, and just as the sun was coming back up, just as we finished uh, the total, the totality, and uh, the rooster started crowing. I thought it was morning again, so <laughs> very, very funny. Well, we got about uh, halfway through the second phase, like the, the final quarter, uh, where it was coming back out the other side of it. And the clouds come in, covered everything completely, and started pouring rain. Everyone's scrambling to try to pack up now. We're all in our vans, our group. We didn't have much to pack up. But yeah, I was getting ready to cook some food for everyone and it started raining. Now we're gonna have to wait. I don't think the rain is sticking around forever. So once it clears up, I'm gonna get out and start cooking. We were hoping to have a movie night outside tonight. So hopefully we're still able to do that. But yeah, I'll check back in soon, guys. All right, guys, the rain is over. The eclipse is over. Now we're just here in a field full of uh, beautiful wildflowers. And I'm gonna be able to cook later by the looks of it. And if we're lucky and it stays dry, we might be able to have a movie night. I'm just gonna check to make sure that my drone is charged up and maybe we'll put that out before sunset this afternoon. See what the landscape looks like from above. We got ready to cook some rice here real quick. This is Puerto Rican rice. Basically cooked up these pork chops in sazon and sliced them up. So I'm gonna put those in there as well. And we're gonna slice up this pepperoni. Here. I'm hoping that should be okay to use. Okay. Gas is on. Okay, so we're adding two sachets of this Sazon seasoning. Not already. Back it off a bit. Let's give that a mix up real quick. So, all right, we're gonna put these uh, pigeon peas in. We're also going to put in these delicious Goya manzanilla olives. I'll be pretty generous with them. All right, guys, so uh, my phone actually ran out of storage before I ended um, that, but what you missed is I think just putting in the water with the rice. So I put the rice in, put the water in. Then we put in salt, uh, cilantro cooking base, which is another Goya product, a couple of teaspoons of that. And just gave it a mix and we've just got it cooking. It'll be ready when the rice is cooked. 
and then we can eat it whenever after that so yeah pretty excited it's a very good dish this is my first time cooking it usually my boss cooks and he's amazing at it it's his recipe um i'm gonna have a crack at it i don't think i got the proportions right but i think it's still gonna taste good so we'll see all right it's probably not too far from cooked let's uh, take a look at what it's looking like right now Oh, look at that, guys. Doesn't that look delicious? Definitely smells delicious. Definitely smells delicious, guys. All right, we'll be back when it's cooked. Whew, it's still pretty warm out here, guys. Quite humid after the rain. But the rice should be done. Let's go check it out. It's the moment of truth, guys. Oh, yeah, that looks delightful, guys. Delightful. What have we got here, Charles? I think they may be ready. I don't know. Are they ready? We'll have to cut into them and see if it's to get done yet. Are they ready? But they're still going to cook for a few minutes when we take them off. Chef Charles cooked up some burger patties. Very nice. Where are the buns, though? Um, they're in your van. Oh, your hand, I thought you were hand making your buns. Today. Yeah. <laughs> hand made tortilla buns. Ah. Tony, what did you think? Really taste the poison in it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished having dinner. We've just been slowly packing up camp because it may rain overnight and we're all taking off tomorrow. Just seen a giant turkey vulture fly down through camp here. It was kind of cool. And it's finally starting to cool down. It's been very humid because it's Texas and it rained a little this afternoon, which brought the humidity right up. It's just hitting that sunset point where it's starting to cool down. There's a breeze coming through, clouds are coming in. Check out the sunset over the hill here. That is beautiful, guys. That is beautiful. I love it. All right, Mr. Anthony is packing up in his van there. And I'll be going into mine pretty shortly. And we have Tony and Charles packing up over here. And yeah. That's the end of this little adventure. All right, guys. So I've retired to the van. I've actually got to do some editing tonight because I have a video to release tomorrow. Uh, I copped a bit of sun. I can feel my ears tingling. I think I've got a bit sunburnt. My neck as well. You know how it is. I don't listen. No. <laughs> yeah, well, my hair is a mess. The humidity's kind of tried to turn my hair into a 80s singer uh, so yeah i need to fix that but uh yeah got a couple of things to do uh editing uh, organizing downloading footage and tomorrow we have very limited time left here in texas in fact we're probably tomorrow heading back into new mexico and then into back into arizona i didn't take a lot of time off uh, work to get out here but we are going to spend a little bit of time tomorrow in a special place that I've been wanting to go for a while. So we're gonna go check that out. It's a little, it's not, it's not really on the way back. It's actually um, back in Fredericksburg, but I really wanna go there before I head back to Arizona. So it's gonna waste some of my travel time back, but it's worth it, guys. It's gonna be a bit of a scramble back, but there are big, big uh, apparent storms coming this way tomorrow, so I can't waste too much time, but I think it's worth it. I just hope we don't get slammed by like a tornado or a storm on the way back. We'll see you guys. But that's for another adventure. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed it. Making it is so, so incredible. Uh, once in a lifetime, to, well, not once in a lifetime, but we're not going to see another one for probably 20 years or something crazy so um i had to see it and i have to say i was wondering whether it was going to be worth all of this trouble yes 100 percent, yes it was absolutely took my breath away i could not believe it like it got dark like the ring of fire like visually looking at the sun like that without protective glasses was so amazing like you can actually look at the ring of fire and it's it's fine like it's just when the sun starts to come back out it's when you get to cover your eyes again but it was 
out of this world. Like it looked like something from a movie or a sci-fi or just or something. I don't know, but it was crazy, guys. I don't. I'm, I don't even know what to say about it. But it 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 was insane. It was so cool, guys. Shocking. All right. On that note, we gotta go. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know below if any of you are able to capture any of the, uh, from wherever you were. N not all states got, got it, but some states got to see partial eclipses. So let me know if you got to see any of that below or where you were for the eclipse. Um, yeah, definitely some interesting animal activity going on. Like I said, weather activity was going on. I didn't see the half moon shadows on the ground, reflections and stuff. But the shadows were definitely acting strange, that's for sure. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Aussie Bear Man, and we shall see you later. What's going on here?